We're Jungle Beats. And we're here to shine. ASAP Rock. Klutz. My name is Mutineary Kind of like Canary Con. And I'm Alexander Sandalis. And we're still recovering from Anderson Park's bubbling. So we're going to get straight into one of your... Man, you're much more familiar with ASAP Rock than me. You like him a lot more than me. I don't really like his last project. A lot of people did. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. I love ASAP Rock. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, The the Impossible Kid was one of the best albums of, I believe it was 2015 when they dropped. Or 2016, sorry. Uh, It was a really good album. It was definitely a step up from uh, Skeleton. Skeleton still had its moments. But as a complete project, it wasn't as good. Whereas Impossible Kid as a complete project was so fucking amazing. Mm. But not only that, instrumentally. Because Aesop Rock's always been known for his storytelling and the amount of depth he puts into his lyrics. But when you have a dope-ass production around that as a whole... Fuck. So I'm very excited to see what he's got for us. I'm a big Aesop Rock fan. And pissed off he didn't come to Melbourne. He cancelled his show. I mean, you know what? You can cancel your shit going on, but still. I'll see you one day, man. Yes, I rock. New single, Klutz. Video to go with it. So we're going to be watching it. Straight bars. Oh, you're holding shit. It is straight bars, man. Oh my god. The editing on oh, this is really cool. It's simple but really cool. Oh my god. Straight bars. How simple that bass time, that bass guitar is. Real simple, but it makes his lyrics sound. I could, I could listen to a lot of what he's saying. Hey, look, there's this dog in the end. <laughs> oh, so different to go into park to something like this. Real simple, like bass and drums. It's all the instrumental was with the. I think there was the extra guitar in the background. You don't often hear rappers go bar for bar for four minutes straight with no hook. I mean, Lil Wayne did it on his last tape. I'm just saying we don't often hear it. No, not really. But fucking Aesop sounds exactly the same as he did on Impossible Kid. I fucked up. That's just how he sounds on Impossible Kid? I might need to go listen to that it's shit a fucking, again. It's a masterpiece. Bro, I might have fucked up. It's, I, think it's I up, like that. It's up there with Labor Days. It's like, that. Like he's got two amazing albums to me. Uh... There are so many lines in there, but I, I, I can't remember them. He says he, he, he's the sort of rapper that says way too much. He just, fuck. He's, he's fuck. Fuck. But the delivery, I was, the delivery oh. of the lines is just, it's so clear, concise, and assertive. Mm. And to go to the video as well, really simple, but really nice. Like the way that he's obviously recorded himself three, four different times. I'm, I think more. Rapping the song. It oh, looks yeah, yeah. like more, bro. He's basically, he's recorded himself rapping the song a lot of times, and it deviated between the few. And you can always see like one or two of himself in That's the background. Dope. And then just the neon light to the background constantly changing. And him with some lyrics, he had him set up himself with the stuff to do it. So simple, really dope. I fuck with it. I'm a big fan of this track. And if he's dropping an album this year, which I didn't expect him to, I expected a four-year wait because his last album was fucking... But if he's got another album dropping, fuck me in the anus with a rubber pencil, I'm ready. (laughs) On that note, man, I'm glad we did this. Thanks for showing me this, man. This is a dope song. It's fucking dope. Dope instrumentation. Oh, great delivery. Oh, now, yeah. ASAP Rock. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. We jungle beats. Jungle beats. Just in case of rough waters, I want to put one up for my brothers.